Proceed tayo sa division ng decimals. So first, move the decimal point in both the divisor and the dividend, the same number places to the right to convert the divisor to a whole number. So pag ganitong decimals, kailangan i-convert muna natin into whole number yung divisor. So halimbawa, divided by 0.25. So ito yung dividend natin. Ito yung divisor natin. Dahil kailangan natin i-convert into whole number yung divisor, move natin siya ng 2 place, 1, 2, kaya magiging 25 siya. Dahil nag-move tayo ng dalawa, dapat mag-move din tayo ng dalawa sa dividend. So we have 1, 2. So 50 divided by 25. So, yung ibig sabihin ng first bullet, dapat pag nag-move ka ng decimal place sa divisor, ganun din mag-move ka sa dividend. Next, perform the division like dividing whole number. So, kung paano tayo mag-divide ng whole number, ganun din. Pero, take note the proper position of the decimal point in the quotient. So, let's proceed to example. Yan. So, we have 3.52 divided by 1.4. So, kanina binanggit na natin na kailangan gawin nating whole number yung divisor. So, ang divisor natin is 1.4. Mag-move tayo ng isa, kaya magiging 14. Dahil nag-move tayo ng isa sa divisor, mag-move mag din tayo sa dividend. So, so from here, move tayo ng isa, mapupunta yung point sa pagitan ng 5 at 2. Kaya magiging 35.2. Saka natin i-divide 35.2 divided by 14. Then, proceed tayo the, the usual division of numbers, noting na meron tayong decimal point here. So, dapat may decimal point here pagdating sa quotient. Yan. So, 35 divided by 14, ang sagot is 2. Then, 2 times 14 is 28. Subtract. 35 minus 28 is 7. Bring down 2. Then, 72 divided by 14 is 5. 5 times 14 is 70. Subtract. 72 minus 70 is 2. Then, bring down 0. 20 divided by 14. The answer is 1. 1 times 14 is 14. 20 minus 14 is 6. Then bring down 0. Then by continuing, the result is a repeating decimal. So kung itatry nyo yan manually, dare-derecho yan, kaya magkakaroon ng non-repeating, non-terminating decimals may mauulit na mauulit na nagre-derecho yung decimal, kaya maglalagay tayo ng bar. So, dahil nilagyan ng bar yung 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, ibig sabihin, paulit-ulit lang yung digit na yan, walang katapusan. So, ayan na yung magiging sagot natin. So, therefore, 3.52 divided by 1.4, the answer is 2.5 1.4 may bar sa ibabaw nitong mga digits na to. So that is how we divide decimals. Let's have another example. So we have 0.5 divided by 1.6. Again, ang 1.6 natin ay divisor. Kailangan gawin whole number. So move 1, kaya magiging 16. Then, dahil nag-move tayo ng isa sa divisor, ganun din sa dividend. So, 5, move ng isa, magiging 5. Now, proceed na tayo sa division. 5 divided by 16. Dahil mas mataas ang 16 sa 5, sa so magdadagdag tayo ng point, then 0, 0, 0. 
So, proceed tayo. 5 divided by 16 cannot be. So, that is 0. 0 times 16 is a 0. 5 minus 0 is 5. Bring down 0. 50 minus 16 is 3. 3 times 16 is 48. 50 minus 48 is 2. Bring down another 0. Magiging 20. 20 divided by 16 is 1. 1 times 16 is 16. 20 minus 16 is 4. Bring down another 0. Magiging 40. 40 divided by is 2. 2 times 16 is 32. 40 minus 32 is 8. Bring down another 0 which is 80. 80 divided by 16. Exactly 5. 5 times 16 is 80. So, 80 minus 80 is 0. So, nag-stop na yung remainder as 0. Ibig sabihin, ito ay finite decimal or terminating decimal which is 0 0.312. So, wala tayong ilalagay na bar kasi terminating decimal siya. So, ibig sabihin, 0 0.5 divided by 1.6 is 0 0.312. This is the final answer. So that is how we divide decimals. Now, this is the completion of the concepts or the basic concepts of decimals. So mula sa definition, hanggang sa illustration, hanggang operations of decimals.